everybody, I'm Ashley and Kaino from the My Best Self Project, and welcome to your daily taroscope forecast for Saturday, the 7th of April. All right, let's have a look at the cards today. Happy Saturday. We have Unity. We got that yesterday as well. We have the Five of Fire, and we have the Dreamer. All right, so overall, look at the energy today. We're definitely feeling very conflicted when it comes to either um, our spiritual journey, our beliefs, or the people around us perhaps not supporting us on that. So let's dig in. Okay, unity. It says, traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors and like-minded friends. So to go back to yesterday, there was very much a sense of having to cut someone out of your life or some kind of social circle that was no longer serving a purpose. Basically not really on par with where you're at in your journey right now and saying that this is okay, let it go. So I feel what this is saying is it is continuing on a little bit from that, but it's with the vibe this time of looking thinking about where can I find like-minded people. So it's kind of a continuation of that, of where you're at right now in this stage of your life. I mean, maybe it's not even a spiritual journey. Maybe you just became a parent and all of a sudden like your social life has changed. And it's very different because if you're the first of your friends to have a kid, it's very hard for like friends to really understand that you can't do the things you used to do, even little things. And it almost feels better having to seek out mom friends who get it and who are tired and who, if they're going to go out for a drink, literally last till 9 p.m. and then they're gonna pass out and it's all okay for everyone to go home. So what this is about is really being on that quest for looking for new circles of like-minded people where you're gonna feel really good and really accepted and feel at peace and also still have that social aspect of your life. Also, you could just be feeling conflicted too. When it comes to your spiritual journey, perhaps you've been raised in a certain belief system or religion and now you're being called to more stuff like this, like cards and fortune tellers if you want to call it that, mediums, crystals, whatever it is. And a lot of people in um, certain religions don't agree with this type of stuff. They'll say like it's the devil, blah, 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 all that because they don't understand it. And when people don't understand stuff, they get afraid. And so you may feel conflicted because perhaps you're in a belief system where this stuff isn't really recognized or taken seriously. And maybe the social circles around you there aren't really vibing with you because they're like, what are you doing? Or maybe it's a parent or a family member who's like, no, like that's the devil. Don't deal with that. Just go and say your prayers. You'll be fine. Whatever it is, it feels like there's conflict affliction going on within you right now, either when it comes to your friendships or your spiritual journey and friendships or relationships around you. Because the five of fire says competing goals, bothersome details, conflicts with others. So this is definitely suggesting that you're being pulled different directions. And the advice that's coming out from the cards here is to listen to your heart and follow your dreams. The dreamer says that. It says a leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. The dreamer is all about dreaming big and taking risks and ultimately dancing to your own beat and taking your own risks. And that's what really this is about. It doesn't matter what other people's opinions are here. Like you can thank them and say thank you for your opinion and all that. But at the end of the day, it's your life and it's up to you if you want to go down the rabbit hole or not, go on a journey, whatever it is. And the dreamer is telling you to do it. It's saying that this is about taking that leap of faith. This is about listening to what you want to do. It's about your dreams. You don't dream anyone else's dreams and they don't dream yours. They're yours and yours alone to follow and pursue. And it's saying by going down this path, so many unexpected opportunities for the better are going to come in. So you're being really encouraged, even though you may feel conflicted and starting to backtrack on perhaps all these new things that you've been attracted to and learning about. It's saying that it's okay to move forward because this is your dream and you dream it, you design your life, no matter what dogma or whatever background you're from. Ultimately, the message is about unconditional love, not judging anyone else and just being a good person and loving everyone else and that includes loving yourself and being true to yourself. So this is really suggesting that whether it's friendships or your spiritual journey, put the conflict to rest because it is about you dreaming your dream and making what you want of this life, not what someone else wants you to do with it. So workshops and seminars is the angel message of the day. It says attending and giving speeches is part of your spiritual path and purpose. Be open to teaching and learning. So 
maybe this is you, maybe you're someone who is like going to be the next Tony Robbins, or maybe it's suggesting that what would really benefit you is going to some kind of workshop or seminar to really immerse you more in this kind of spiritual journey, or even better, to help you connect and click and find like-minded people who are also on this journey too. Or it's just about finding some kind of personal development book that's going to really feed your soul. I could grab so many books from all around me here. Even I have one right in front of me just even about learning crystals, crystal healing for the soul. There's so many. There's one behind there all about the moon cycles. There's another one called witch, which isn't about being a witch, which some people will tell you. It's about nature's beat, like the moon cycles, which is so powerful because like the moon's connected to the, um, the tides. It's connected to our periods for God's sake, you know. The moon is so powerful. So it's all about being in touch with like the natural elements of the earth, not actually being a witch as such. So what this is saying is go um, on Amazon or go to a bookstore and go to like the spiritual or metaphysical section and look for something that's going to call your soul and read it. Um, even if it's about affirmations or healing, whatever it is, it's telling you that it's time to really pursue this more, dance your own beat, be the dreamer, make your dreams happen by doing more study, more research, and grow yourself in this journey. And by learning more of this stuff, it's going to solidify more of this idea, um, this spiritual path in your mind because you're going to see so much evidence of how this stuff is really real and how it's not bad and it's going to keep you more anchored to your purpose and to your dream. Okay, your affirmation for the day. When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. And that's what this is about. This is about being a light worker, not a dark worker. Never be afraid of going down a spiritual path because ultimately it's just about exploring how you can become your best self. It's by accepting the love of this universal source energy, consciousness, God, whatever you want to call it, and let it be your teacher. And that means listening to whatever way you are being guided, not anyone else, you will be guided in the right direction, in the direction of the light. So this is a real reminder of it's all okay. You have nothing to fear. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's taroscope. Please like, share, tag a friend, or subscribe, and I look forward to bringing your taroscope tomorrow. Bye.